Assalamu alaikum viewers. I've seen a lot of people asking about how to measure AC current using a Lagros current sensor module ACS712. There are a lot of videos on YouTube which describe the working of ACS712 but they have some issues in their coding which they use to measure different samples from the current sensor. So, in today's video, we will talk about how to accurately measure AC current using this ACS712. We have a lot of things to discuss, so let's dive right in. If we take a look at the data sheet of ACS712, we see that this sensor works on 5V DC and has 66 to 185 millivolts per ampere output sensitivity depending on the type of sensor we are using. ACS712 comes in three different current ranges: 5 ampere, 20 ampere, and 30 ampere range. And we can see that its output varies proportional to AC and DC currents. From the typical application diagram of the sensor, we see that it consists of 8 pins and current is passed through pins 1, 2 and 3, 4. This side is totally isolated from the output side. If we take a look at the performance characteristics of 5 ampere module, we see that it has an optimized range of minus 5 ampere to 5 ampere and it has a typical sensitivity of 185 millivolts per ampere. It means whenever there is an increase of 1 ampere current through the sensor, it changes its output by 185 millivolts. Now let's take a look at the output voltage versus sensed current graph. We see that when there is no current passing through it, the output voltage is 2.5 volts. As soon as current start increasing, the output voltage starts increasing and finally reaches 3.5 volts for positive 5 amperes and reaches 1.5 volts for negative 5 amperes. Now, as we know that the frequency of AC mains voltage is 50 Hz in most of the countries, there are some countries which use 60 Hz but we will take the example of 50 Hz. We know that the mains voltage is sinusoid in nature and so does the AC current. Now all we have to do is to sample output voltage of current sensor. ACS712 has an offset voltage of 2.5 volts when there is no current passing through it. So, in case of sinusoid current, the output voltage of current sensor varies around 2.5 volts and goes to the maximum of 3.5 volts when there is a peak of 5 ampere and goes to the minimum of 1.5 volts when there is a peak of negative 5 amperes. Now let's understand the coding part of this video. The code discussed here can be used for any Arduino based microcontroller. The code can be modified to use for different microcontrollers like PIC by microchip. I will discuss the function and some global variables which are used in the calculations of current flow through the sensor. So, First of all, we have defined a current variable having float type and then we have defined sample time of 100,000 which defines that we are taking samples for 100 millisecond and one cycle of 50 Hz is 20 millisecond. So we are considering 5 cycles having 50 samples each making a total of 250 samples. This gives us the sampling interval of 400 microseconds. Then we have defined an array of 250 data points to store the samples. Now starts our current sense function. 
we have a count variable starting from zero then we calculate the previous time passed in microseconds and then we start counting in while loop until the number of samples which are 250 are completed you see that in while loop we are collecting samples only and not performing any operations on samples because if we start performing the calculations right away this will disturb the sampling time of microcontroller and hence we will get unwanted results then we perform the necessary operations in the for loop and then we simply calculate the rms of all the samples here at the end you see the line if current is less than 0 0.15 this is the noise of current sensor this number might vary for the sensor you are using well that's all for now and i hope you liked my video if you like the video please like share and subscribe that's it for now i'm your host noman ali Take good care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.